All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Uh, we are gonna be doing a review very quickly, I think, of this variety here behind me called Ronde Bordeaux. And I have talked a lot about this variety in the past, but there's been some new discoveries that I've noted with it that I just find to be incredible. Um, I don't know exactly if this is gonna be consistent going forward forever, but my tree, I wrapped this tree this past winter, um, has this incredible ability to continue growing and producing fruit nonstop. It does not stop. That's probably its problem, actually, as to why it's not necessarily the most hardiest variety and why I had to wrap it last year. But this fig has produced easily 300 figs, uh, and it just keeps going. I pinch it. Um, I actually did a technique this year called rivers pruning on it and it produced 100% more figs because of that technique. Um, I may release a video, I've talked about it in the past, but I may put a video out actually on that topic. I'm not sure if I'll do it again, but uh, it, it has just been insane. And the reason for that, again, is because it just continues to grow. And I think it's because of that hormonal balance, the hormones within this tree that just really are not in the right balance. One hormone dictates and tells it to fruit. Uh, the other one tells it to grow. When you don't have enough of the one telling it to fruit, the tree just grows and grows and grows. This tree is in a balance where it'll just continue to grow, but also at the same time keep fruiting. And I pinched this tree twice. Um, I pinched it sometime around July 15th. And the first time I did it was around um, June 8th. So by pinching it twice, the first time I pinched it, uh, it then responded by putting out a lot more growth, branching out in all different directions, and that was called rivers pruning. Once those new branches formed, it then formed a whole lot more fruit on those new branches. But then I pinched it again to force it to fruit once again and to stop it from growing so that I could get the remainder of the figs on the tree right before the very end of my season. That's why I did it July 15th. They take about 65 days roughly after pinching or after forming uh, to actually ripen. So 65 days after July 15th, uh, we should have a good amount of figs coming in here, I would guess in the next few weeks, um, now that we're in October. So. Then, after pinching it that second time, it's resumed growth once again. And I guess you could argue that's uh, just rivers pruning once again. The second time I pinched it was, in a way, the same process. Because now that it's leafed out and branched out and continued growing, it has formed even more fruits. Now, these fruits will never ripen in the length of my season. It's just not possible. Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, this tree will just stop growing because we only have about a month left of uh, no frost. Once the frost comes in, this tree is going to get smashed. Uh, the branches are not going to be very well lignified. And I'm going to very likely going to have to, I think, protect this tree this winter time again and wrap it. Um, but I don't want to have to wrap them. I would rather do less work if possible and all my other trees that have produced a lot of fruit, um, they don't have this issue. In fact, the one right next to it, this is a Moro de Caneva called Fico Seco. And you can see the branches are already pretty much lignified. They've stopped growing. And of course, is going to be much better off and much more prepared for the wintertime. Now, there is a, a couple branches in here. Oh, actually, that's Ron de Bordeaux. So there you go. But this is probably this branch here, the least lignified of the whole tree. And that's still looking really good for preparation um, for the winter cold this year. So there's a trade-off with this tree. And the trade-off, as I, as I just, you probably have picked up on, is that it loves to grow and therefore loves to fruit. Um, it's in that balance of being able to actually fruit and grow at the same time. Uh, but also, the trade-off is it's not going to survive the winter very well. And so I'm curious if indeed I am able to protect this tree maybe this year 
uh, get this whole thing together, wrap it up, uh, actually protect it well. Will this tree slow down? Is there at any point, is it possible that this tree can slow down its growth and behave like a normal fig tree? Not many fig trees do this, guys. Uh, little Ruby right there, it puts out one flush of growth, puts out a, all the figs on all those nodes, and then it's done for the year, it's over. That fig is incredibly well lignified, and that's why it's so hardy. Most of the other figs I have do that. Now, if I prune it really hard in the wintertime, any of the trees, they'll respond by growing to a crazy degree, and it's actually very unlikely that they'll fruit. Ronde Bordeaux has this ability unlike other varieties, to be able to be pruned more heavily to grow really well the next season and actually produce a ton of fruit. So this is really the variety here that if you wanted a ton of figs, this is a guarantee. Uh, if you really don't know what you're doing with pruning, this is pretty much a guarantee. Um, so yeah, I, I just find this variety to be very incredible in certain, certain aspects. Uh, negative in other aspects and I actually would in a way I'd hope that it just stops growing um, it would be nice if somehow there was a gene within it maybe recognized the, the fall was coming the winter's coming and it would just stop at a certain point I like the fact that it grows and produces so much um, and I think here's the reason why for that um, what I'm noticing is that the branches grow quite a bit and then all the fruit forms um, usually you'll see on a lot of the other branches as they grow they're forming fruits and it's more consistent that way whereas this this variety puts out a lot of leaves gains a lot of photosynthesis that way and then forms the fruit and um, that to me is probably the reason why it's able to grow. Is it a hormone, hormone problem? I don't know. Uh, I would love to see a Ronde Bordeaux that doesn't grow and produce as crazy as this. Uh, that's the mystery. Or is it, uh, in fact, what I said, the, the growth habit of this tree is a little different. The fruiting habit of this tree is a little different, actually. And that it... Um, grows a lot of the new leaves those leaves capture the photosynthesis and it's in that energy surplus then the form the fruits form and it's still able to continue growing um, i don't know but one last thing i'll show you with this tree it has again produced a ton of figs let me just show you real quick here's all that new growth that we that i mentioned and all this new growth here has the fruit buds present. And then of course, all along the branches, once again, it's loaded with fruits. This is the second crop of main crop that I'm getting all along these new branches uh, that I formed after pinching it on June 8th. So, um, and then look at all that new growth. As I was mentioning, this is not it's still a little, it's, it's hardened, but it's not exactly the right color. Concerned. But also, look at the sheer size of this thing. It has just spread out, grown enormously. This is way bigger, way faster growing than any of the other trees. It's not the soil, uh, because it's the same soil here that it is over here. And none of the trees are doing what this Ronde Bordeaux is doing. So, uh, yeah, just there's a different story. I thank you guys here for watching this one. Something I've been thinking about, and uh, that's why I wanted to put it in video format. I'll see you guys for the next one, all right? Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. Catch you guys later.